today we're going to be talking about the brand new bag by Black Sheep Baggers, the Juggernaut. We're going to be breaking it down, how it feels, the playability, and pretty much everything you need to know about this bag. So first we're going to start off with the materials. It's basically a 4.8 bag. The fast side is your standard fast side that comes on most Black Sheep bags. And pretty much you've probably thrown this fast side, it's on a lot of the bags in the cornhole world. The slow side, it's your 4. Mine plays about a 4.5 right now, but it's not fully broken in just yet. And so I'm sure it'll slow down. It's a medium sized template. Um, I would say it's, it fits really nice in the hand. I don't think it's too big, but it is like in that middle range. It's not like a super small bag. Um, the fill, it's their brand new RTR fill. So it's a mixed filled bag. And this bag will pretty much roll and cut and do everything, but we'll get on to a second. Pretty much standardized fast side. The slow side is just like your Vikings, your mercenaries, pro advantages. It's that traditional carpet that's for your slow bag throwers. If you have a harder throw and you tend to blow it off the back, this might be the bag for you. I know in the video, as you guys are seeing, I think I only had like one, maybe two bags to go off the back on slow side. I think I had one go off on the fast side because I missed a push. But pretty much this bag is going to be for your dirty game players, someone that doesn't want to just whole race because i know i'm not a whole racer i tend to like to roll and do that kind of stuff this is the bag that's going to work for you pretty much this is your block go to a roll kind of push throw your opponent off kind of thing um that's what this slow side will do i'm pretty sure you've probably thrown this slow side on some sort of a bag if you've tried slow side bags it's your just traditional carpet that's pretty much on a lot of them fast side same thing it's basically a four eight pretty straightforward bag mix filled so now we're going to get into the playability. Slide shot, it tends to grab the hole fairly well for a slow bag. I will say that. I think it's pretty hole friendly. I don't think it's the most full bag. I felt fuller bags. I don't think it's as full as the BG Viking. So I think it's a little bit more hole friendly than that bag. As you guys can see, it's kind of floppy. This is um, probably a month and a half, two months in. For this carpet, that's actually pretty floppy. I did toss sauce to break this bag in. I used um, nuked. I don't know if they even have nuked anymore, but I used nuked to break this in. When it's in my hand, I tend to feel like it doesn't have a lot of bead in it. It's not like a super full bag, but when it's in your hand, it's firm, which I like. I think it gives the best of both worlds of being whole friendly for a slow bag. And also it's not like I, it's just dumping beads because I know some bags get so floppy and don't have a lot of bead that like, when you're, it's in your hand and then you start to go throw it, it does this and then you have no bead in your hand anymore and it's like, I'm not super accurate with that. I don't really notice me losing bead with this bag, but I think it's just the right amount of fill for this bag to pretty much be as hole friendly as a traditional slow bag can be. Now when it comes to blocking, this bag is pretty easy to block with. You kind of just lay it up there and it, it kind of does it automatically in a way. Um, as you see in a lot of the shots, I don't go all the way really deep on the back. I'm landing pretty high on the board and it's still only sliding basically to the hole. I think pretty much if you're trying to block, this is a great bag to do it. And then you can kind of hole race. I wouldn't say this is the best bag for hole racing, but you definitely shouldn't have a problem putting it in the hole. Now, when it comes to being able to block and then throw in a roll shot, this bag will work great. I think this bag really doesn't have a problem getting up and popping up and over if you throw it correctly. I At the end of this video, there's a couple of shots I throw rolls. Couple were good, a couple were okay. Still not super consistent on rolls, but if you're a consistent roller, this bag will definitely do it every single time for you, um, no problem. I know that if you're maybe not the flattest bag thrower or you don't throw super hard, this bag may not be for you because it will kick and it will grab the hole and just go left or right, depending on if it's tilted or if you don't throw it hard enough where it hits the board and slides, it will just grab and shoot. So this bag may not be for everyone. If you take it to your local switch, you're not going to get everyone throwing it. I know ten, when I tend to go to switches, I either throw the sentence or this bag, depending on what is the best bag for the player that I'm matched up with. I know some tend to throw higher and softer, some throw hard and low. So this is basically for your harder throwers that throw low and throw a pretty flat bag. Um, this bag will do really good for that. But if you're kind of wobbly and a high thrower, this bag may not move for you. So I would just try to test it out and see if you like it. But 
try to find someone that has some kind of just traditional carpet and you can figure out whether you like a traditional carpet or not. Um, pretty much cutting around bags, this bag will do it. Like I said, it'll cut pretty hard. If you throw it on a cut, it'll go one way or another. Um, it's pretty hole friendly though for being a traditional carpet. I think this bag definitely can do what you need to do. Sorry for the phone if you can hear that. It's ringing in the background. But pretty much I'm going to compare this bag to the Sentence. If you guys have thrown the Sentence bag, it's basically a step down from that. A um, little bit more grippy in my opinion. A little bit slower. Same fast side. Same 8 fast side. But just a little bit different of a carpet. The Sentence has a herringbone. So if you've thrown a Sentence bag and you think it's a little quick, this may be the bag for you. I know that this bag, when I... Playing out in California, the boards are kind of faster at times because we don't have any moisture or anything really in the air. Um, when that bag is moving, I will drop down to the Juggernaut. I know the Sentence is kind of my middle ground bag if I need to go up or down. So I'm not throwing the Juggernaut every single tournament, but this is definitely a bag that I carry on me for certain situations when I need it. Um, when I need a slower bag or something like that, or maybe a hard throw, or maybe I see I'm playing someone that can hole race really well and they're throwing some kind of just bag that's like a floppy bag that's going to go in the hole, maybe a hybrid carpet type thing. I might pull this bag out because I know sometimes it can get under people. It's like skin that don't do blocking and they'll get mad and then their game starts going out the door. So maybe I'd grab this in certain situations for like that. But I think overall, if you're looking to play the dirty game, you want to roll, cut, and things like that, this bag is really good for it because it's that traditional carpet and that 8 fast side. I think the 8 fast side cleans up very well. Um, you don't have to throw it super hard. You just throw it normal, and it pretty much cleans up that four fast side. And I think it does a good job at, like, grabbing it when it comes in. It doesn't just bounce off the bag normally. It pretty much grabs it, and it slides in with it. Um, you can grab it off the side of the hole pretty much on fast side. It'll just pull and drag the bag in with you. But I think, overall, this bag is a really great bag if you're into the dirty game style. With that being said, it is dropping today at 7 p.m. Eastern time, so that is 4 Pacific time. And I want to say it's going to sit right around like $100, $110, I think, roughly around there. But yeah, I would definitely give this bag a try if you like playing the dirty game and the slower game. I don't think it's that bag that you're going to get everyone to throw, but I think maybe just like at least in singles, if you're that type of person, or you and your partner may be the rolling type of game and blocking, that this bag would work great for you. That's basically my review of the new Juggernaut bag. If you guys are gonna pick yourself up a set, make sure you guys use code BRIZ10 for 10% off your order. And like I said, I hope you enjoy this bag as much as I do. If you're that dirty style playing game and you really just wanna get under people's skins, this could be the bag to mess up the whole racers in my opinion. But anyways, that's gonna wrap it up and I'll see you guys in the next one.